Oh, that was a satisfying smack, wasn't it? Well, hey, YouTube. So today, I have got my Diana Model 34 Panther out that I'm going to uh, be shooting out at 50 yards. And uh, I was watching... Oh, the reason for getting this gun out is I was watching O'Shoot's channel and uh, he did a story on Crossman closing their plant down, their plans to close the plant down in New York and uh, laying off 140 people. And, uh, you know, now that they've been absorbed by Daisy, um, I'm, he, he said in his thing, I, I, you know, they're going to move production over to China. I, I don't know if that's 100% true, but I won't be surprised based upon what Daisy has done. And um, I'll keep an eye on it, but I fear that is the case. And I can't support a company that takes their manufacturing and moves it to China. I, I just won't do it. And um, I have no interest in buying Chinese-made Crossmans that were made in the United States. It just... So that'll... Uh, That'll eliminate a big chunk of the guns that I would buy and what guys will say is the budget category. But, you know, the thing is, I also own nice guns. I have an appreciation for nice guns. Shooting the cheaper guns does make you appreciate them, and so that's what we're featuring today. So I bought this Diana Model 34 back in 2015. It's made in Germany. Very high quality. It's very well made. Um, honestly... You know, that Daisy 1100, 1101S that I bought at Walmart for under $100 is like $80. I think that's decent for, for what you're getting. It's powerful and it's reasonably accurate, but it's no comparison to this. And um, so the, the problem is, is these have gone up a lot. This one was $234 back in 2015. And uh, now I looked it up, there, a Woodstock model is going 407, and um, I did an inflation calculator, and uh, it, these should only be going, the, the 234 corrected for today's dollars is worth right around $300, and uh, why they're 407 now, I don't know, but that's up to, uh, that's up to a person whether they want to spend that much money on an air gun or not. I can fully understand why you wouldn't. Um, however, they are very nice. And uh, let me see if I can demonstrate that to you guys. I've got some cans set up out there at 50 yards. 12-ounce um, cans full of water. And, uh, man, when you cock this thing, it's so smooth. There's no, you know, that ratchety noise when you shoot it. It doesn't twang. It doesn't vibrate, it doesn't really recoil that bad. It's just very pleasant to shoot. The breech, everything in here, the lockup is super tight, super duper smooth. Um, I quite like the gun. All right, I'm gonna shoot it off the bag, take me out of the equation. So here we go. Um, I'm using the RWS 30, or wait, the RWS 300 uh, fixed power 4x32 scope. It actually came with my Air King. This gun didn't come with a scope, it came with open sights. And um, this one's uh, fixed power, but it does have an adjustable objective. I believe that's what it's called in the front. And uh, so nice and clear, it works, it works well at 50 yards. Uh, it's got this T06 trigger that I've never felt a need to adjust. It, I'm not really a big trigger snob, but it just works really nice and suits me just fine. But I do like that I can adjust it if I want. It's a metal trigger too, I believe. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about the pellets I'm shooting. So these are domed H&N Field Target Trophy, 14.66 grain pellets, and they seem to be working pretty well. Man, I'm flipping them all. It's 
like I meant to do that. I wish I could take credit. I can't. It's just the way it's working out. See, there you go. All right, let me take a shot at that silhouette. It's quite a bit smaller. At least the cans are there for scale. That's why I left the one at the end. That sounded like wood. It sounded like I hit slightly underneath. So let me hold a little bit higher on it. <laughs> Two for one there. Anyway, guys. Um, yeah, I'm not sure with that announcement from Crossman. Uh, I like I like I like buying a variety of guns in that price range, but um, like I said, I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I can't support a company if they move production to China. And based upon what Daisy's done, you know, the 880s made in China, and I don't have a lot of faith. And uh, I guess we'll just see what happens. Um, maybe I just end up uh, saving up and buying uh this is my my channel i don't I'm not, I'm, I'm not a sponsored channel i'm not a shill here telling you to buy things like uh some of the big channels um anyway might just save up and uh just buy nice guns and um because shoot i don't know who who will i i really liked crossman so see what the future holds for us here all right guys i hope you enjoyed that that's all for now and thanks for watching